Franklin the Frog lived by the pond. Franklin would practice hopping every day. First, he would hop on the ground. Then he would hop on a log. Next, Franklin would hop into the water. And then he would hop onto a lily pad. After that, he hopped onto his rock. At the end of the day when the sun went down, Franklin would hop back home and go to sleep. One day when Franklin was hopping, another little frog started hopping along with him. Now there were two frogs hopping. When Franklin hopped on the ground, the little frog hopped on the ground too. When Franklin hopped on the log, the little frog hopped on the log too. When Franklin hopped into the water, the little frog hopped in the water too. When Franklin hopped on the lily pad, the little frog hopped on the lily pad next to him. And when Franklin hopped onto his rock, the little frog hopped on the rock too. At the end of the day when the sun went down, they both hopped home and went to sleep. The next day, when Franklin was hopping, another little frog started hopping along too. When Franklin hopped on the ground, two little frogs hopped on the ground with him. When Franklin hopped on the log, two little frogs hopped on the log with him. When Franklin hopped into the water, two little frogs hopped in the water with him. When Franklin hopped on the lily pad, two little frogs hopped on the lily pads next to him. And when Franklin hopped onto his rock, two little frogs hopped on the rock with him. At the end of the day when the sun went down, they all hopped home and went to sleep. The next day when Franklin was hopping, another little frog started hopping along with him. When Franklin hopped on the ground, three little frogs hopped on the ground with him. When Franklin hopped on the log, three little frogs hopped on the log with him. When Franklin hopped into the water, three little frogs hopped in the water with him. When Franklin hopped on the lily pad, three little frogs hopped on the lily pads next to him. And when Franklin hopped onto his rock, three little frogs hopped onto the rock next to him. At the end of the day when the sun went down, they all hopped home and went to sleep. The next day when Franklin was hopping, another little frog started hopping along too. When Franklin hopped on the ground, four little frogs hopped on the ground with him. When Franklin hopped on the log, four little frogs hopped on the log with him. When Franklin hopped into the water, Four little frogs hopped in the water with him. When Franklin hopped on the lily pad, four little frogs hopped on the lily pads next to him. 
And when Franklin hopped onto his rock, four little frogs hopped on the rock with him. Just like the little frogs wanted to follow Franklin, we can also choose who we want to follow. When we follow someone, it means we try to be like them and try to do the things that they are doing. If we choose to follow Jesus Christ, that means we will try to do the things that Jesus did. If Jesus loves other people, then we try to love other people too. If Jesus keeps Heavenly Father's commandments, then we try to keep Heavenly Father's commandments too. Jesus has invited each one of us to follow him. And if we follow Jesus Christ, that will help other people follow him too. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. LatterdayKids.com